It was cold, lonely night. I was sitting in my PI office, as one does in the 1920s, because the only people there were PIs. No one else existed. I got given a letter through the door, a note that said, Case for you. City, location, Oakmont. It was strange. I had never heard of Oakmont. There are coordinates in this. I'll just go to them blindly. It says I'll get paid. So I put on my hat, and I headed out. Hey there everyone, I'm the Joshua Trops, and welcome to The Sinking City. I hope you liked my little intro there. It was really dumb. Hope you enjoyed. We're gonna be a great detective sleuth PI. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll stick around and maybe even consider liking and subscribing. That would be really cool if you want to see more from me. And here we have it. Detective Charles Reed. He's wearing the classic nice guy fedora. We are here in the city of Oakmont, a city that shouldn't exist. You have to travel around the city by boat because why the fuck not? Look at this. Look at how angry this man is. I'm going to take... You, you don't like me taking photos? I'm going to take many photos of you now. Arrest! Ah! Uh oh. Seems my sanity degradation summoned a monster. Whoops. <laughs> the game's mechanics are very intricate. When you're investigating, you have to actually use your brain. Which is really hard for me because my brain is very smooth. Extry, extry. Read all about it. The time has come to send Toothless Bob on his final journey. Oh no, Toothless Bob! Look at my Tommy gun, see? He's mad. Oh. He's completely mad. No, there's... No, I'm not. I, d I thought there'd be monsters in here. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I, m I might He's take mad. a photo of you, He's though. Completely... Come back! <laughs> it's a crate full of the water of life, if you catch my drift. I think you'll find. This is the 1920s. Alcohol was illegal, Mr. Bartender Man. I am stuck on a... Get out the way! Oh, the monsters are here! My guns are out of ammo. Okay, that's two dead. Something spawned next to me. Or more, more, more things. Look how horrifying they are. I killed something. Okay, cool. We killed one. Now just this guy. Did I do it? I think I cleared an infested area. I have never done that before. Look at me. Oh, there's, there's more. There's more to the area. Don't worry. Ah! That's one dead. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing, we're doing all right. Let's get us some pistol ammo. Why did you go so far, my dude? Hi guys! I think it's clear now you can come in. Detective Charles Reed doesn't know what he's looking for anymore. He's just happy he managed to survive. Ah, oh, Poor guy! Should probably make sure- He's still alive?! Mad. He's completely mad! Okay! Was not expecting that. I'm so confused what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a crate of some kind. Said after visiting a house. House? A house. A house. My detective skills are not helping me anymore, guys. Ah! Here's a house. Alright, I think I can... Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, I knew it. This is the one. Are you, are you okay down there, bud? You, you seem a bit stuck. Do you want, do you want some help? There we go. I fixed it for you, buddy. My sanity is uh, still quite low. I'm hearing lots of whispering in my ears. Apparently, stabbing yourself with a needle makes your sanity go up. Life lesson there. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't stab yourself with a needle. That's probably not a good idea. Heavy with wheels. Okay, Charles. Your silky smooth voice will get us through this. The blood's almost dry. Oh, I've poor guy. Like this before. So, Charles's powers of deduction go a bit further. The normal. Charles had an incident when he was in the army, and it gave him special investigating powers for some reason. Um, so, yeah, look. I can see fake walls, and there's a horrible monster appearing on my screen because my sanity is low because I'm an idiot. So, this is another part of Charles's amazing detective powers. He can go into the other world again. I'm not totally sure why, but you're done, kid. It's cool. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. Get him, boys. What we have here is a simple case of four people having a mass hallucination. Because, as you can see, there's no one else in the room. Ah, 
I see. This person was very obviously meant to give this man some sweets. And instead, he ate them for himself. So this man kneecapped him. Wow, you must have had a massive sellout because um, there's nothing else. There's nothing here. Oh, that man wants that, does he? Well, sir, I, I can charge you 57. No, don't pay him. Pay me. I can charge you 57. Do no, 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 no. Give me your money. Oh. <laughs> Why did that kill me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd be a very good farmer's market merchant. Hi, I found your courier. Well, I found your courier. He's dead, break. mate. Ooh, we've got a mind palace clue. So, like Sherlock Holmes, Charles Reed has a mind palace. It's not as extravagant. Are you okay, okay there, ma'am? Your leg seems to be no clipping through your skirt. Also, your hands are in your head. <gasps> it's the fish market again. Sir, I would like your job. May I have your job, please? Please. P please. Sir, what are you looking for? Are you looking for fish? Because you are staring at planks of wood. The the fish won't be under the wood. You you need you need to look at this bit over here. Sir? Sir, no uh oh. I'll... Just take me to your boss. Charles Reed just sounds done with everyone and I love him. He's my best friend. Wow, you're I old. Have to hold it. I have a job needs doing. But it needs to stay between the two of us. I'm gonna tell everyone. We don't need to ask what if I don't like the job. I like every job. Uh, guess I have no I'm a choice. pretty easygoing guy. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Whoa, whoa, Rightful whoa, dude. That's family. you're getting a bit personal. Telling each other names, Sir, jeez. How are you doing, handsome? See, she's complimenting me. She feels How guilty. Doing, Look at me. I am definitely not handsome. Well, I'm gonna leave Oakmont. I'm gonna leave with a fat wad of cash because oh, it's another farmer's market, uh, sir. No, give me the no me. Why don't you give me the mu no? I meant to hand you the items. Oh my god! Why don't I look smashing? This is the best thing ever. I have an octopus on my head. You you hire a private investigator, and you just see this. What are you doing? Because I know what I'm doing. I would just immediately cry. I'd, I'd probably cry if I saw a detective who looked like this. He's terrifying. Sir, oh, I'm out of ammo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Your death is coming. Give me a sec. Oh. Down goes Charles. The madman octopus head dude. That was weird. What happened there? Why was I... Why did I imagine I had an octopus head on? Huh. Strange. Well, I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more Sinking City stuff, let me know because I love this game. It's really fun. It's, it's a little janky in places, but I think that just adds to the charm. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for sticking around to watch the video. And uh, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Please do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and maybe even consider subscribing if you want to see more from me. Thank you so much for watching. I have been the Joshua Drops and I will see you next time. Goodbye. These, these strange towns, I don't know what, I don't know what to think of them.